are going to show you how to write a cut program on the Northwood saw jet using the KMT intensifier water jet components. Watch this, it's pretty, pretty simple. We're going to open up the file, and these are the parts that we want to cut, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to position these in a batch that makes sense. And there's our cut batch. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the table of the saw. I'm going to bring those parts over here and I'm going to insert them into the saw. Next step, I'm simply going to open up the SawJet software. I'm going to add my parts, one, two, three, four parts. I'm going to right click to accept. I'm going to add tool pass. This is medium granite. And I will and we're going to cut it rapid using traditional saw and water jet combination. The computer has now figured out all the cut programs, and we can go ahead and simulate this now. And you can see the saw coming in and doing its job, cutting all the straight lines. And as soon as it's done doing the saw cuts, the water jet will come in and do the parts that the water jet do the best, and that's doing corners, radiuses, scribed walls, and the like. Another cool thing that we can do when we're in this software is we can actually take a look at how long this is going to take to cut up this entire slab of granite. So we're going to go to Setup Sheet. And we're going to run a, a, a virtual simulation. It'll tell us how long this program is going to take to run. It's calculating all the tool pathing. And this batch should take 13 minutes and about 40 seconds to cut up. That's how efficient and fast a Northwood saw jet is at whacking up a complete slab. So the next thing we do when we want to cut this, we just simply click the button that says barcode. And we print a setup sheet. It's going to produce a piece of paper right here that's going to come out of the printer. It's going to produce a piece of paper that's going to come out of the printer and then we just simply take that out to the saw jet. It shows the batch, the layout, the table. We just barcode that in and we start cutting stone. What Tony's going to do next is load a slab into our Northwood saw jet. Um, one, of the, one of the things about water jets and saw jets is it's important to have vacuum lifting equipment. Pretty easy, pretty safe. You're just going to get it flat, bring it in and set her down. So what you're, what you're looking at right now is the uh, Z-Laser from uh, Carter Laser Products. That's what we use to actually project the parts onto the slab. And as you can see here, you can see the four components that we laid out in that cut batch program that you saw me write earlier. And then my operator went ahead and marked the slab, the walls, the seams, and all the pertinent data that we need when we take these parts off to know their orientation for insertion into the CNC. What we're going to do next is we're going to flood the tank and have the water actually come up and bury the slab. We like to process underwater. This allows the operation to be done very silently and, and very efficiently. Um, and this entire job, as you saw in the software, is going to be cut up in about 16 minutes. You've got to love it. This is a stoneworker's dream. So now he's going to go ahead and hit the float tank button, scan in the barcode, bring the program up. And now he's going to raise the tank. Now you can see the water come up. This is done with a ballast underneath the tank. And the part gets submerged and the cutting procedure begins. So one of the things that, that made our shop consider SawJet technology was the absolute insane efficiency you get from this technology. It combines a, 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 a saw blade with a water jet nozzle to do the work. And in, the, in this industry, the most effective and fast way to cut natural stone is with a saw blade. The beautiful thing about a water jet is it allows us to do the radius works, the sinks, the hole cutting, all the detail work that normally would be have, done, have to be done by hand with grinder or be done on the, on the CNC using milling, it's done in this process. As you saw when I wrote that program, it took us six, it's going to take us about 16 minutes to cut up this entire slab. That's bullet fast. It would take us three times that long on a conventional bridge saw or water jet. Another beautiful thing about this technology is it's fire and forget. Once the operator pulls the cycle start button, he can just walk away from the machine and do something else productive in the shop, like write the next program for the CNC machine, bring in slabs or whatever. It frees up an operator. 
Another big advantage of SawJet technology is that the parts come off the machine the correct size. When we put the part into the CNC machine, we don't have to run a milling pass with the finger bit. This saves us a ton of money on finger bits and also allows the machine to process stone much more quickly. This particular stone is pretty dense and hard on our first generation saw jet. I think we're cutting right now at about 80, 90 inches a minute. On the newer saws, you get feed rates of up to 140, 150, sometimes even 160, depending on how hard the material is. Our actual produ productivity has increased by 60, 70 percent from where we were before, but our labor costs have gone down substantially. Now it's finished cutting, and the water jet's going to come into play and do its thing. Now normally with the saw jet, we do the entire cutting procedure underwater. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drain the tank for you so you can actually see what's going on there. Now you can hear the intensifier ramping up the pressure. It's made its first cut and it's going to start clearing all the corners on these, these components. As you can see, when you combine the saw with the water jet, the amount of water jet work that actually needs to be done is very minimal. This keeps your garnet consumption down, it keeps wear and tear on your intensifier down, and it keeps maintenance down to a very low level. In eight hours of cutting, we might do 25, 30 minutes of water jet work a day. Another very cool feature, we don't just cut stone in our shop. We've cut steel for steel fabricators. I've cut phenolic, rubber. Um, I've done some plastic stuff. We've cut some UHV for customers. And now you, now you can see these parts being separated by the water jet. I cannot imagine fabricating stone without a saw jet in my shop. Perfect parts. We've done signage with our water jet. We've, we've cut out logos for companies. We do a mosaic inlays. Um. So once the water jet's done doing all of the work that it's doing, and we'll go in at the end and we'll be able to actually see the radiuses that it's going to cut where the corners are, these slabs are ready for position one profile. We don't have to do any additional milling. If there's a notch for a cabinet wall or anything like that, a small detail piece, they come off perfect and it's ready to go. Um, often when we do jobs like chiseled edges, the only part that actually ever sees the CNC machine is the undermount sink. We'll pull the parts right off here and chisel them. Another nice thing about having water jet technology allows you to scribe walls. We don't have weird conversations with our customers about, you know, why, why is the granite a quarter inch away from the wall, things like that. If the wall's curved, we, we make the granite follow the curve of the wall. I can't think of a better combination of technologies using a saw in concert with a water jet when it comes to the stone trade. It's so efficient, so fast, and it produces perfect parts. Whether it's radius works, undermount sinks, coring holes, drilling micro small holes like quarter inch holes. We don't drill them with a drill, we punch them with our water jet. Now you can see where it's going to go back along the backside and scribe this wall. In this shot right here, you can actually see where the saw has come down and plunged in a series of straight lines. The water jet's now going to come in and clean up all that and connect the dots. And that's where you can actually see the bow that's in these people's wall of their house. Another nice advantage, if you look right here, the saw knows exactly how far to go without hitting the other adjacent piece. Now the water jet's going to come in and it's going to punch just as much as necessary to remove the curve from the blade. If you want to talk to some folks about water jet technology and actually ask some questions, I run a website called www.stoneadvice.com or if you're ever out in Oregon and Hubbard, give my shop a call. We're Stoneworks of Oregon and or track me down on Stone Advice or shoot me an email and you're more than welcome to come out to my shop, run this equipment, learn how we use our KMT water jet to build perfect kitchens. Just come on by or give me a call or visit us at Stone Advice.